Okay, welcome everyone to the August 24 meeting of the Board of Directors of the Environmental Facilities Corporation. It is 11.30 a.m. Madam Secretary, could I have the roll? Certainly. Here's Spock. Here. Director Westerman. Here. Director Leary. Here. Director Corcoran. Here. Director DeMarkey. Here. Director Krasansky. Here. And Director Zorowski. I'm here. You have a quorum of the board. Great. Thank you very much. First item of business is approval of the draft minutes from June 22nd board meeting. Everyone was present. So I'll take the, uh, unless there's any discussion on the board meeting, the, meet, the minutes. All right, I'll take a motion in a second. So move, Mr. Chairman. Thanks, Francis. No discussion. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Unanimous. I have nothing to report. Uh, nice to see everybody after a month break. Uh, Madam President Coleman is not here today, so Mike will be sitting next to me in her stead, which is wonderful. Uh, I have nothing else. We can move right into the President's report then. Okay, good morning, everybody. As far as uh, President's report goes, it's um, it's a busy time of year for us. AFC is always busy late summer, going into fall, as you saw with the Finance Committee. We have a poll coming up, which we expect to close in early December. Uh, we had our WIA IMG application deadline, which was August 11th. That was extended by two weeks by the governor due to some of the storm damage around the state. Uh, we received 467 applications on that date uh, for clean and drinking water. We're obviously still going through them along with DOH. So um, stay tuned. We'll be updating you on those as uh, we get through those. It is quite a uh, task for staff here and at DOH to, to weed through each one of those to determine eligibility and scoring and things like that. So. Um, that is a tremendous amount of application. Uh, right now, we are very close to finalizing our draft clean water tenant use plan, um, as well as developing our annual information statement, which uh, date every year, October 1st. So you'll see that um, at our next board meeting for approval, the annual information statement. I know Henrik's um, crew and, and Emily and Brian and their, their um, their teams are working on that right now, so stay tuned for that. Um, we've got uh, ID number six today is to authorize the um, sewer overflow and stormwater reuse municipal grant program, which is a new kind of a smaller pot of money. It's not SRF dollars that um, we're receiving from EPA, so I was going to pass it to Bill to give a, a short description of what that program is. Um, uh, you'll see that in ID number six. Right, thanks, Mike. Uh, as Mike said, this program uh, outside of our state revolving fund it was created in 2018 through amendments to the Clean Water Act. Congress started funding the program in 2020 with $28 million. Typically, they've been providing about 40 to $50 million per year nationally, which is much, much smaller than the, the Clean Water State Relevant Fund. Um, the program is intended to address combined sewer overflows, sanitary sewer overflows, and stormwater management. New York State gets about 6% of the, the national allocation. And we're going to be providing these funds as grant dollars to small communities with uh, lower MHIs and also focusing the money on projects or communities that have used the engineering planning grant program and are serving environmental justice areas. First of our projects is the uh, on the agenda today. Right now we've got uh, about $7 million has been allocated to New York State 
Thanks, Bill. And the, uh, the last item I had was uh, we are, as we did, I believe it was last October, we're planning a site visit for the board. Uh, assuming we can get everything to come together with everyone's schedules, we were planning to visit um, City of Kingston. It's a drinking water project this year, which we wanted to do that on purpose because we did go to Rome and see a sewer project last year. Um, but we are targeting that for October 5th. Um, at a board meeting here on a little, little bit earlier of a schedule. Get in, get down to Kingston, hopefully around midday and tour um, the Cooper Lake Reservoir, which there's a project that, uh, that Dave can um, describe for you, but we, uh, we're we looking forward to that. Yep, the Cooper, it's the Cooper Lake uh, Dam and Reservoir Rehab. It's actually a project that's uh, going to the pool. Um, so um, this had WIA money, SRF uh, money, as well as some DEC money. So it's a, re, uh, a dam rehab project to address some structural deficiencies that were identified by DEC. So to bring them into compliance with DEC uh, regs, <clears throat> uh, slope stabilization, uh, rebuilding the spillway, raising the, the reservoir level a little bit, um, and also includes a brand new uh, raw water intake for the drinking water, which will uh, provide multiple locations um, so the city can draw water from different locations and uh, get different uh, water quality depending on conditions. Um, and it's actually located in the town of Woodstock the city's primary water source so um, it's close to finishing construction but not quite so uh, just before recently by the engineer there should be activity in the state um, during that site visit so we'll be, uh, visit yeah it sounds great and um, you know stay tuned for logistics and, and all that so we look forward to being able to, being able to do that in October great that's all I have. Great. Thanks, Mike. Uh, we did have a committee meet today, a finance committee chaired by Frank Sporkman. Um, there'll be some, some items in the resolutions. Francis, do you want to mention anything quick before we head to those? Uh, certainly, Mr. Chairman. Uh, the uh, full committee met in quorum uh, today, uh, and we had uh, two items on our agenda. Uh, the first was the approval of the minutes from our June 22nd, uh, 2023 meeting, which uh, we also had a full quorum of as well. Uh, and that was, those were approved. And then the second item was the uh, state revolving funds uh, debt authorization request, clean water and drinking water state revolving funds bonds series 2023C. And it is the recommendation of the finance committee that the state revolving funds debt authorization request the clean water and drinking water state revolving fund bonds series 2023C be approved by the full board upon the presentation of it as ID number one on our agenda today. And uh, that concludes our um, report from the 24th of August of the finance committee. Thank you, Francis. Unless anyone has any unfinished business they'd like to address, we will move into resolutions. Secretary, ID number one, please. Bond resolution authorizing the issuance of up to $189,128,000 New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation State Clean Water and Drinking Water Revolving Funds Revenue Bonds Pool Financing Program or alternatively authorizing long-term direct financing. Take a motion and second, please. So moved. Thank you, Francis. I'll second. Thank you, James. Any discussion? No, nope, no, nope, actually, Bill. I apologize, they rushed the ready to ID number one. Bill, do you want to give a quick presentation? Uh, Brian. It's actually me. Uh, thanks. As presented this morning to the Finance Committee, uh, this is, as we said, this is for Series 2023C. Um, there are 12 uh, clean water projects. Uh, the first one is for the Town of Boston. It is for the wastewater collection system and pump station. The Town of uh, Cornwall 
is uh, for INI and surcharge mitigation. The village of Depew is for INI improvement phase five. Dutchess County Wa uh, Water and Wastewater Authority for Greenfield Sewer and the Wastewater Treatment Rehab uh, for uh, Nassau County for the Bay Park uh, Conveyance Project. Um, the Town of Ontario is for a Wastewater Treatment Plant Improvements and the County of Ontario is for Honey Eye Lake Wastewater Treatment Plant Improvements. Um, the city of Oswego has two projects. One is for the sanitary sewer separation and rehab, third and fourth stages, and then another project for the area three sewer rehab. The city of Schenectady has two projects also, one for uh, North Ferry Street pump station project and for the sanitary sewer overflow mitigation project. The village of Scotia is a wastewater uh, pump station improvements. And that's the, the, so the next projects are for the drinking water and there are 13 of them. Uh, the village of Candor is an upgrade uh, groundwater source, uh, upgrade pump station and upgrade uh, distribution system. The town of uh, uh, Greenville for new storage, upgraded distribution system, extended distribution and extending the distribution system. The city of Kingston, the project that, that we uh, just mentioned uh, for the visit is for the Cooper Dam Reservoir Rehab and upgraded transmission and upgraded storage. Uh, the village of Lake Placid is for up, upgraded uh, treatment plant and upgraded distribution. The town of Luray is for new water storage, upgraded distribution. The town of uh, Lowville, or excuse me, the village of Lowville is for groundwater supply wells, existing water filtration plant upgrades. The village of Mayfield is for a new storage. The town of Familia is for water uh, district consolidation, uh, water main replacement, water main extensions, and water uh, storage upgrades. The city of Poughkeepsie is uh, for upgraded water treatment plant, and the town of Poughkeepsie for the same. Um, they, it's a joint project between the two. Uh, the village of Pulaski is a distribution replacement and upgrades. The village of Sharon Springs is, is a storage tank uh, replacement, water main replacement, water treatment and plant upgrades. And the final project is the village of South Glens Falls uh, for an upgrade distribution, upgraded treatment and upgraded storage. Um, so this is all for going into the pool. Uh, some of the key dates for the pool are, uh, we expect to have our ratings done uh, for October 20th. Uh, our, we will post a POS, a preliminary official statement for October 24th. Pricing is October 31st and we expect to close on December. Any questions? I've got one on the specific uh, project in Kingston. Actually, Kingston and South Glens Falls, it, it, that, that forms these, you know, these one pagers. It says currently meter system no. I looked up the Kingston one, and according to their you know, uh, the write-up from the drinking, from the water uh, authority, they require meters. I guess I'm wondering, so I'm assuming there are meters in Kingston, uh, but the but this says currently metered, no. I guess I'm wondering, um, you know, why it says no if there are meters. I'm assuming there are meters. Um, Charlie, I mean, that could just be a mistake that someone checked the wrong box on the sheet, to be honest with you. Um, I'd have to look into that. Yeah, check, just double check if you would. I'm just curious, just because I assume just from reading all the stuff that, that it's their meter. And South, same with South Glens Falls. Just curious, because obviously if, if they're not, you know, I hope they get metered. Um, and I guess I'm, I'll just throw this out as an idea. Uh, I don't think it's required, but, you know, that would be up to the Department of Health. But, uh, you know, we could require you know, people to use money to meter if they don't have meters, um, just to get around the problem, the the possibility that um, somebody gets drinking water money to upgrade lines and install new pipes and and not have meters. Because I'm just gonna suggest maybe somebody think about that and see if there's any reason why we wouldn't require uh, for, for, uh, for people receiving this assistance, require them to put in meters if they don't have. Charlie, I know that DEC is requiring them as a condition of the issuance of a water supply permit. So I think in most cases, 
a lot of the projects we see it's embedded in the in the regulatory approvals um, but some of these existing systems might not be updating a water supply permit depending on what type of infrastructure they're they're uh, they're installing but I think in most cases when there is a water supply permit modification or new issuance the, the condition of that is metering which it, we, which obviously we're we're in favor of and that that emanates from DEC yep yeah and, and I'll just add you know meters have gotten so good you know they they're so reliable they're relatively cheap of course they do great things to have meters so you know the technology has gotten so good there's really no reason why you know why somebody would not put in meters thanks and and we can go ahead and we'll we'll certainly look at the Kingston and the South Lens Falls to make okay. sure that that accurately reflects what's uh, what's going on there. Great, thank you, Mr. Rob. Anything else for Brian? All those in favor of ID number one, aye. 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 Okay. Unanimous. ID number two, please. A resolution of the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation amending prior authorizations for financial assistance to be provided by the corporation to certain recipients in connection with the drinking water state revolving fund. Okay, can I have a motion and a second, please? So moved. Take a second from Christine and motion from Adam. I will be presenting. Thank you. There's four uh, financings related to this ID number. The first is for the village of Cleveland in Oswego County for the installation of new groundwater well for backup water supply. We're requesting authorization for the extension of the maturity date from November 15, 2023 to May 15, 2025. The additional time is needed because the electrical design phase took longer than expected due to changes to improve operation efficiency. Internet is needed to access, I'm um, sorry, internet access needs to be made available to automate the system and make more, it may take more than a year to obtain a generator, which is a critical component of the electrical contract. The second is for the town of Esperance in Schoharie County. It's for the new pretreatment process to reduce raw water, total organic compound loading. We're requesting an extension of the maturity date from October 19, 2023 to October 19, 2024. Additional time is needed because the need for design modifications resulting from product availability uh, delays during COVID-19 and obtaining a railroad permit needed to complete a, dire a directional bore underneath the railroad tracks. Third is for the village of Lake Placid in Essex County. Uh, this is one of our pool projects that we discussed in uh, ID number one. <clears throat> Looking for the extension of maturity date from November 8th, 2023 to December 31st, 2023, and that will allow us for inclusion in the anticipated pool. Best is for the village of Schoharie in Schoharie County. It's for improvements at the village's primary spring source, upgrades at the water treatment plant and holding pond, replacement of the existing finished water storage tank, distribution system upgrades, and a new bump booster pump station to serve the Prospect Street area. Uh, looking for extension of the maturity date from November 29th, 2023 to December 31st, 2025. And the delays were due to land acquisition issues and a change in, in the desired holding pond aeration system that resulted in additional design research and regulatory review prior to bidding. Thank you. Questions for Brian? Okay. Let's vote on ID number two. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Unanimous again. ID number three, please. A resolution of the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation making certain determinations and authorizing certain actions in connection with the Drinking Water State Revolving Fund and authorizing financial assistance payments to certain municipalities to fund eligible drinking water projects from funds appropriated for water infrastructure improvement projects. A motion a second, please. I'll David. make second. Thank you, Vita. David Phillips, Superintendent. Hey, um, first project uh, today is for uh, the Carl Place Water District in Nassau County. Uh, this is for um, uh, a WIA grant. And the project 
includes a new advanced oxidation process or AOP treatment system and a GAC system to remove 1,4-dioxane from well number five. Um, the next project is the Garden City uh, Park Water District in Nassau County. This is for an EC WEA grant. Uh, this is also for a new AOP system and GAC system to remove 1,4-dioxane, PFOA and PFOS from uh, their plant number eight. The next project is for the Hampton Bays Water District in Suffolk County. This is for a WEA grant. The project includes installation of a new approximately 3,500 linear feet finished water transmission main across the Shinnecock Bay and a second 2,300 linear foot uh, finished water transmission main across the Shinnecock Canal. Uh, these mains will improve service and provide redundancy and resiliency to this uh, water system, uh, especially to the areas of Shinnecock Hills and the Dune Road area. Um, currently, there's just single mains serving these areas um, that are subject to um, issues such as breaks, freezing, uh, low pressure, and boat collisions. Um, so. This project will add a second main for each of those connections and again, provide some needed redundancy. Next project is for the Hicksville Water District in Nassau County. Uh, this project is for a WEA grant as well as a uh, bipartisan infrastructure law emerging contaminants grant. Uh, this is actually the first project receiving that money. Um, and this is for a new AOP and GAC system to remove 1,4-dioxane, PFOA, and PFOS from uh, the wells at plant number six. Uh, next one is the town of Pamelia up in Jefferson County. It's a long-term interest-free financing. Uh, the project included installation of approximately 75,000 linear feet of new water main, as well as replacement of approximately 11,000 feet of main um, and um, storage tank and SCADA upgrades. Uh, it also consolidated nine existing water districts into one consolidated town water district. Um, so the, the project will serve new users that currently were without public water. Uh, it'll create loops to reduce water age and dead ends, which will, um, along with the storage upgrades, address a violation for uh, disinfect disinfection byproduct noncompliance. Um, next one is for the Plainview Water District in Nassau County. This is for an EC WEA grant. This is a new AOP and GAC system to remove 1,4-dioxane, PFOA, and PFOS from um, four wells at plant number five. And next is the Saratoga County Water Authority. This is for short-term market rate DWSRF financing. Uh, this is for a new 5 million gallon finished water storage tank, which will be built adjacent to the existing tank on Cordero Drive. Um, it also includes a new pressure monitoring system along the 28 mile finished water transmission main that the Water Authority owns. So this will monitor pressure um, and send information back to the treatment plant SCADA system, which will allow staff to identify uh, leaks and breaks much quicker and respond to those much quicker. Next one is the South Farmingdale Water District in Nassau County. Uh, this is for a WEA grant. This is for a new AOP and GAC system to remove 1,4-dioxane um, from well number uh, 62 at plant number 6. The project also includes a new green sand filtration system to remove iron and manganese from that well. Next is South Huntington Water District in Suffolk County. This is for an EC WEA grant, a uh, new AOP system and GAC to remove 1,4-dioxane, PFOA, and PFOS from the wells at plant number three. Um, and then the next one is for the city of Troy, Rensselaer County. Um, this is a WEA grant as well as a short-term market rate DWSRF financing. Uh, this is uh, phase two, which is the north section of a multi-year project to replace the city's 100 plus year old finished water, or I'm sorry, raw water transmission mains. 
um, which um, run from the Tom Anak Reservoir down to the city's treatment plant. So this project will replace um, existing um, mains with two new 30 and 33 inch uh, mains uh, from Church Street to the Melrose pre-treatment facility, which is about 5,500 linear feet. It'll also replace um, a concrete pipe from the Melrose facility that goes to gatehouse number two, which is about 2,500 linear feet. And then the last project is the village of Wurtsboro in Sullivan County. Uh, this is for a WIA grant. And this is a project that includes replacement of about 1,100 linear feet of uh, aged uh, undersized water mains, as well as uh, a new 300,000 gallon finished water storage tank. Uh, to replace the existing tank, which is uh, severely aged and deteriorated. Any questions on any of those projects? Great, thank you. Okay, to a vote on ID number three, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Again, ID number four, please. Resolution of the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation authorizing financial assistance payments to Genesee County to fund a Chipotle Tree Municipal Water and Infrastructure Project. A motion and a second, please. I'll make a motion. I'll move Christine to a second. Second. Charlie with the motion. All right, uh, Dan is both presenting again. Okay, um, so this project is for the Genesee County, the phase two water supply project. Um, it includes upgrades, which will allow the county to take an additional additional 2.4 MGD from the uh, Monroe County Water Authority, um, which is needed as the county looks to move away from its existing source, which is the city of Batavia, um, which is, has been dealing with uh, capacity and water quality issues. Um, so the work includes uh, three new pump stations, upgrades to two existing pump stations, and um, new transmission. Questions on that? I uh, just, uh, just a quick. Is this the first? This is great. You know, we love this kind of thing. I mean, the the fact they're getting that money. Um, I, is this a? Is this has this been done before? Have they bought water water before, or is this a new a new uh, a new thing? Um, they, they currently purchase some water from Monroe County. This is going to allow them to purchase a lot more so that they, again, this can be the primary source and eventually the only source of water for that system. So I guess I'm wondering the grant, you know, this grant is, is to, to effectuate the, let's say the, the, the one time ability for them to purchase the water. We're not actually helping them buy the water. We're just making it possible. Is that right? Right, infrastructure improvements to allow them to, to um, not physically buy the water, but bring that yeah. water to where it needs to go. So this would be a one time, yeah, one time, and then they can go ahead and buy the water, right? Great. Further on ID number four, all those in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, <laughs> ID number five. Resolution of the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation prior authorizations for financial assistance provided by the corporation to certain recipients in connection with the water state and I'll take a motion and a second. I move. Francis. Adam. Was it Francis? Okay. So Adam. I'll, se I'll second to keep it, keep it easy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Brian McAvoy will be presenting. Thank you. This is uh, one project with this ID number. It's for the village of Endicott, Broome County. Projects for the planning, design, and construction of solids handling and flood mitigation improvements at the village's wastewater treatment plant. We're seeking to extend the maturity date from October 25, 2023 to October 25, 2024. The additional times the village is working with the manufacturer on adjustments to the sludge dryer to get the desired performance and output needed. Further on that, on ID number five, all those in favor? Aye. 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 ID number six. Authorized 
president of the corporation to take necessary actions. Creation of the super overflow and super water is full grants program. Okay. I'll take a motion and a second. Motion. Second. Early. Vita, thank you for the second. All right, Bill Brazell. You, uh, as discussed earlier, it's the new program the Forest Tech Development Fund to provide some funding, a small amount of funding for uh, CSOs, SSOs, and stormwater. Our state has applied for and received and been awarded just over $7 million so far for the first three fiscal years that this program was funded. We expect to receive the awarded approximately $3.1 million for the current uh, fiscal year. Eligible applicants for this program criteria that we established would be a smaller community, so population under 10,000, median household income of less than 80% of the statewide. Also projects that uh, were the subject of an engineering planning grant but past years and that serve an environmental justice area as defined by BEC's website. So we're looking for authorization for this uh, for this program. Questions? Great. Okay. Uh, all those in favor of ID number six. Unanimous. Okay. ID number seven. New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation applications <clears throat> and authorizing certain actions in connection with the Clean Water State Revolving Fund and authorizing financial assistance payments to certain municipalities fund eligible clean water projects from funds appropriated for water infrastructure. I'll make a motion. I'll make the motion. Thank you, Vita. A second. Second. Christine and Francis with the second. Bill Brazell presenting again on ID number seven. Great, thank you. Uh, today we have nine clean water projects before the board for new financing. First is the Albany Municipal Water Finance Authority. So long term interest refinancing. It's the first portion of the city of Albany's acquired projects under the Albany Pool group of projects that includes their portion of projects in the city of Albany, the city of Troy, and the city of Hose. These communities, along with Waterbury, Green Island, and Rensselaer, entered into a long term control plan in 2013 to control CSOs in the Albany Pool. A number of those earlier projects are now converted to long term financing. Uh, the request before the board today is just over $5.6 million. Next, we have the, the village of Carthage in Jefferson County uh, to do short term financing. The request is for $231,750 in interest free financing and a WIA grant for $561,375. Uh, this project also includes our first OSG grant for $1.452 million. Uh, the project will reduce inflow and infiltration entering the collection system through repairs to the existing sanitary collection system and construction of a new storm sewer. This project was supported by an engineering planning grant from 2017. Construction is expected to start in September and be complete in June of 2024. Next, we have uh, another new short term for the town of Cherry Creek in Chautauqua County. For the board today is a $1.573 million short term interest refinancing. This project is for upgrades to the town's 60,000 gallon per day wastewater treatment plant to meet more stringent discharge limits. There will be some additional equipment provided to the treatment plant, a new rotating biological contractor or RBC unit, along with some uh, 
other equipment's going to be upgraded at the plant. The prep will manhole rehabilitation improvements to reduce INI into the collection system. Uh, this construction is anticipated to start uh, one year from now, August 2024, and be complete in July of 2025. Next, we have the village of Depew in Erie County. It's another new short term financing. Requested financing is a $202,500 interest rate financing, $877,500 market rate financing, $458,750 WIA grant for the village. Village of Depew is undertaking an 11 phase program to improve their collection system. Uh, this will be the, the sixth phase within that program. They're going to line approximately 12,640 linear feet of sewer main, rehabilitate a number of manholes, and uh, install approximately 700 linear feet of, of new sewer main. This project was supported by a planning grant from 2019 Construction started this past June and is expected to be complete in November of this year. Next, we have the Village of Lake George in Warren County. So, long term financing, requested financing is nearly $8.5 million. Uh, the project had also included a $3 million WIA grant. This project was for some very extensive upgrades to the Village's wastewater treatment plant, uh, for the most part, it's a, a new wastewater treatment plant in the village. This project also had an engineering planning grant in 2014. Construction was complete in 20, March of 2022. Next, we have the New York City Municipal Water Finance Authority. This is a, a bill financing, bipartisan infrastructure law. $42,651,100 long-term interest refinancing, which refinances a portion of an existing New York City short-term financing. Uh, the project is a 100% green project reserve by EPA's definition, and it therefore uh, qualifies for, for the bill financing. This project well, it's part of a, a very large uh, $315 million project to replace some diesel generators at the North River wastewater treatment plant with gas generators that will utilize digester gas generated at the plant along with natural gas. They're also going to be using the heat from these generators and uh, heat from that's uh, collected from blower units to heat the treatment plan. Project will improve operations and reliability of the treatment plant, reduce greenhouse gas emissions in an environmental justice area. It's a you know, cost effective solution to an existing problem they've had. Uh, overall, this project began construction back in 2017 and is expected to be complete in July of 2024. Uh, next, we have this city of Peekskill. This is a $750,000 WIA grant. City of Peekskill. The city is going to replace 1,350 feet of existing sanitary sewer with uh, a new sewer that's uh, more reliable. Uh, they're going to add a new pump station and a force main to water to wastewater to the Westchester County's Peekskill wastewater treatment plant. This will reduce inflow and infiltration reaching the treatment plant and will serve an identified environmental justice area. Construction is expected to start next April and can be complete in the summer of 2025. And then finally, we have two projects in the city of Stanford. These are direct financings that go along with the leverage triad things that Brian talked about earlier. First project is for the uh, Ferry Street pump station. Uh, this is a pump station in the stockade area of Schenectady. It handles approximately 60% of the city. 
along with uh, Bo from the village of Scotia. This project was completed in 2022. The second Schenectady project is a long-term interest refinancing for $15 million. This project included a, a new force main, a 14,000 foot 30 inch force main uh, from the new pump station to the wastewater treatment plant. This new force main will bypass a regulator which had been used previously to discharge our treated wastewater to the Mohawk River during wet weather events. That's a good story to eliminate the, the use of that regulator. Uh, this project also includes some improvements to the wastewater treatment plant to handle the increased flow. Both of these technology projects benefit EJ and just communities. Construction was completed in 2022 on this project as well. Any questions? I have a, just a question on the on the Cherry Creek one. I, I see there's a congressional earmark. We talked about that, you know, recently. The earmark. I guess I'm wondering. I see the USDA money and the earmark in the short term. So this, I mean, this was sort of in for 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 our help anyway. Uh, is that? Before the earmark, is that how it, the process worked? I'm just, I'm just wondering when the earmark uh, uh, happens, or in this case, happened. So it was a 2022 congressional yeah. earmark. Yeah, so this was very likely in house before the earmark um, came, and not sure. We just had a call with EPA this morning that they're starting to prioritize delivering these earmarks to um, to communities because it is a new kind of framework for EPA to be implementing. So on this one, I would expect that, um, I don't know correct me if I'm wrong, but we're probably pre-funding it and we'll downsize a long-term financing when um, when that earmark's actually received. Oh, right, we're not pre-financed. Oh, we're not, we have to do that. So they, they must have additional sources to use on their own before they actually received that earmark. Right? Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Any further, Bill? Okay. We'll do a vote on ID number seven. All those in favor? Aye. 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 You unanimous. ID number eight. Resolution of the New York State Environmental Facilities Corporation authorizing the president of the corporation or the president's designee to negotiate and enter into the agreement to for bond structured software and support services. I have a motion and a second, please. Make a motion. Charlie, second. Francis and James for the second. Uh, Emily Jamison and Maureen McGrath will be presented. So this is basically for DBC financial software. It's used for structuring our bond deals. And this is software that we've been using since 2006. It's the industry standard. There aren't really any alternatives out there. Um, the new contract would be a three-year contract for $129,888. It's actually only a 3% increase over the last contract, which if you compare that to CPI is actually a pretty good deal. Um, so, you know, we would like to continue to use the software in our financial practices. Questions for Emily? Wonderful. Okay. All those in favor of ID number eight, aye. 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 You unanimous. Any new business would anyone like to raise? Okay. Uh, next board meeting will be Thursday, October 5th. As Mike mentioned earlier, uh, 1130 will precede our trip to Kingston. We are uh, looking forward to seeing everybody on that. Uh, I will take a motion and a second for adjournment. So moved. Thank you, Francis. Second, Vita. 
Thank you, everybody. All those in favor of adjournment. Aye. 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 We are adjourned. Thank